Hey there, this is Clay, and this video is very important here. I want you to watch this through to the end. We're gonna be talking about how to detach emotionally from attachment to outcome from your ex, from your partner, so that you can powerfully move forward into either getting back together with them or perhaps even you know moving on or opening up a new chapter to your life or whatever. There's no reason not to do this. No matter what your eventual outcome of your breakup is, you're probably gonna want to do this. But I wanna talk to you about all of this because detaching is so much easier said than done. It's a much deeper emotional experience than perhaps Perhaps you may have been led to believe by seeing other articles or videos or whatever out there on the internet. You know, you might have heard that it just involves dating other people, it involves, you know, getting in shape, going to the gym, it involves, um, you know, just waiting for time to heal all wounds, etc. And I just want to make it clear that that's not how you're going to end up detaching. Detaching is about something that is much, much deeper. Now, in, in previous videos in the series, we've already gone over the importance of creating space, why it's important to get out of damage control mode, etc. But let's go ahead and get into what it takes to actually detach. Most people are familiar with this concept of an inner child. You know, most people have heard this either, you know, on TV and pop culture, or maybe they've talked about it with like a therapist or something like that. And basically it's just that, hey, there's this sort of like, innocent version of us inside of us that's still emotionally experiencing a lot of the the challenges that we've been through in life you know maybe that's abandonment issues that you've had uh, issues with your mother or father issues with being rejected or something like that and so here we are going through this breakup and that could could very well understandably trigger this inner child to feel a certain emotion of some sort, fear, insecurity, anger, whatever. And this may cause a lot of the damage control mode sort of behaviors that you could be experiencing. What I want you to do is I want you to understand that just as with an, an actual child, you know, if you have children or, or have young children in your life somehow, when you have a young child who is upset, who is crying, who is insecure, you don't just leave them alone to cry it out. No, what you do is you go to that child and you say, hey there kid, I know that it's tough right now. I know that we don't know how this is gonna go. I know that things aren't going the way that you want them to, but you know what? I'm gonna be here with you and we're gonna get through this and we're gonna be okay and we're going to make it through one way or another. And what that does is that starts to calm the inner child. That starts to help that child relax a little bit more and that starts to help that child see that they're not alone. And in a lot of ways, you need to do this with your own inner child. You need to find a way to have that kind of relationship with yourself because there is that part of you that says, hey, I just got rejected from a relationship. Hey, somebody just dumped me. Hey, somebody said they don't want me in their life anymore. Does that mean that I'm gonna be alone forever? Does that mean that I'm not gonna get the love that I want or need? Does that mean that I'm not going to have this life, this marriage, this relationship, this family that I hoped that I was going to have? And if you just don't do anything, if you just ignore that, if you just turn away, if you just distract yourself, then that's gonna keep going on. But what you wanna do is you want to develop that relationship with yourself where you know that you're going to be able to make it no matter what. And I mean this in a purely emotional sort of sense, not an intellectual sort of sense. I mean, I'm describing this to you right now, you might intellectually get it, but I want you to emotionally get to the point where you can understand this all the way deep down to your core. What we have to do is we have to develop this relationship with ourselves. And so what does this mean? This means taking the right actions. Obviously, when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to your own personal life, but also when it comes to every other area of your life as well too, you have to advocate for yourself. You have to take a step forward and do the right thing that a loving parent would do for any child, right? So, you know, yeah, that means comforting yourself when it comes to your own breakup. But that also means doing things like, you know, taking a stand when you might need to with your career or with your job. That might mean enforcing certain boundaries with your family. Because if your inner child feels unsafe or threatened in, you know, basically any area of your life, it's not going to trust you to be there to help it and to, to, to guide it through the challenges of relationships as well too. As you get this experience of saying, hey, I'm worried about this. Oh, look, my inner adult made some tough choices and took my side. It's going to start to develop trust. You're going to start to develop trust within yourself that you are 
going to be okay. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to start to really move forward in a hugely powerful sort of way. This is going to cause you to turn down the volume on all of these emotions that you could be feeling, the fear, the anxiety, the insecurity, etc. And it's going to open doors for you to behave in a more balanced, more stable, more rational, more composed sort of way so that you can bring the best of yourself forward into your life and into the world at large. And so what we're going to be talking about in this video right here is how we can go ahead and do this, how we can go ahead and fully detach, how we can go ahead and to create this sort of balanced, positive, great emotional vibe that we can carry forward into our interactions with our ex or without our ex. I'll see you over there.